What's going on everybody? My name is Jason. I work at All Out Bikes in Four Oaks, North Carolina and every day for the month of December I'm going to be pulling bikes out from my personal collection. They're going to be collectible bikes. They're going to be rare bikes or just plain unique. So be sure to subscribe to see what comes next. Today's bike of the day is this 1982 Schwinn Sidewinder. These are very hard to come by because, well, they bombed, okay? They bombed because Schwinn did not put their heart and soul into this bike whenever they were designing it. Uh, and the reason why they didn't is because back then, Schwinn said that mountain biking was just a fad, okay? so. They were not going to put much effort. They weren't going to waste their time putting together something that was just a fad. So what Schwinn did was they got just a basic cruiser frame, okay, and put a couple of BMX parts onto this cruiser frame, put some riser bars with a crossbar, and put a hodgepodge of parts on there, this, whenever I say hodgepodge, I'm talking about the BMX parts, plus they've got a Shimano rear derailleur that came on this bike, a Schwinn front derailleur, and Suntour shifters. So you've got a mixture of everything on this bike. Uh, it did come with a Brooks saddle that you can see right here. Uh, which is kind of cool, except this seat is incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, I really love the blue anodized parts on this, but this bike, it's heavy. And the competition at the time, they were putting like six gears in the back with three in the front. So that, those were 18 speeds. This bike is a 10 speed, okay? Another, you know, failing on uh, Schwinn's part. So Schwinn's whole thing was they, their problem was they thought that they could just make something, slap a Schwinn name on there and they would sell like hotcakes. Well, this did not do well because the competition had more gears, lighter weight, better brakes for near about the same price. Now, the way I got this bike is many years ago, uh, there was a gentleman that worked with us, uh, his, well, actually we worked with him. Uh, he was retired and he fixed bikes up for the church and they would g give them away to people who needed them. So what we did was we actually sold him the parts, the tubes, tires, parts for cost. Uh, plus if there was any shipping. We worked with him for many years. Well, I went over to his house one time and I, I was looking in the, in the shed and I saw this Schwinn Sidewinder. Uh, all I saw was that it was looked to be in, like an old mountain bike. I didn't know it was a Sidewinder. I didn't know what year it was. Uh, and I offered him $50. Just, I didn't even know if the wheels would turn. And he said he wasn't interested in selling this. So I was like, well, no problem. If you ever decide to sell it, I would be very interested in buying it. Well, about two years went by and he actually came into the shop and he said that he needed some money to buy uh, more parts to fix up bikes and if I was asked me if I was still interested in buying that bike for $50 and I told him absolutely so I bought this for $50 he was happy I was happy uh, and I fixed this thing up and uh, that's how I got it and unfortunately Mr. Woodruff uh, a couple of years ago, he was mowing his yard and he had a heart attack uh, and passed away, which was very unfortunate, uh, but uh, he, uh, he he helped the community out for many years, and, and I say the community, it wasn't locally, because he would fix these bikes up, and we are in Four Oaks, North Carolina. Well, he'd drive all the way to West Virginia to like some of the coal mining towns, and they would give away bikes uh, in those towns where the, you know, there were people but not a lot of jobs. Uh, and uh, so he touched a lot of people's lives. So it was, it was a pleasure uh, knowing him. Uh, but anyway, if y'all enjoyed this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends. 
check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's Bike of the Day. I'll see you then.